The Premier may have brought goodies, but it didn't seem to help him sweet-talk the Prime Minister. Barry O'Farrell had his first face-to-face -face meeting with Julia Gillard today, and top of his agenda was transport. The Premier's hoping the Prime Minister will break one of her election promises to fund one of his. But Julia Gillard says she has no intention of using Commonwealth money for the North West Rail Link. Here's ABC reporter Mark Tobin. Barry O'Farrell came to the meeting bearing gifts. There's cheeses, there's uh, lavash, there's even sausages from uh, New South Wales. He wants a gift in return. He'd like $2.1 billion of Commonwealth funds for the Epping to Parramatta rail line reallocated to the North West Rail Link. But that's looking unlikely. The federal government will decide where federal government resources go. No Premier in this country has a mandate to use federal government money. I made my case very clear that we are building the North West Rail Link. I made the point that it would be made much easier if uh, there was money transferred. There has been a rail line to the Hills District before, but it was shut down in 1932 because it was unviable. Now the local state and federal Liberal MPs are calling on Barry O'Farrell to make sure he gets the new line right. There are concerns a one kilometre stretch of the line will be built on a 10 metre high bridge and not in a tunnel. Well, a 10 metre high viaduct right across this, uh, this particular area would be just disastrous. It will uh, certainly devalue land prices in the area, um, create a lot of excessive noise. But putting that section of the line underground will cost money. So will another idea to build an extra train station in the Norwest Business Park. We want to get the best bang for our buck out of this rail line and uh, thinking there'll be thousands more employees in the next five, ten years, it's a good opportunity to get the planning right and get the stations in. Barry O'Farrell says he will look at altering the existing plan, but he's not making any promises. I expect the project team to come back to us with uh, the best scheme uh, that can be afforded uh, because ultimately, Mark, everything in life, uh, particularly in government, is all about uh, compromise. Geotechnical work on the line is due to start later this year. Mark Tobin, ABC News.